Please. What's the matter? Could you return to the shop, please, sir? What for? Just return to the shop, sir. It's just your friend we need to see. Stay outside the premises, please. Can you open it, please? What, you think I've knocked something off? Open the bag, please, sir. In my whole life, nobody's ever called me sir. Now, this guy's done it three times. But the way he said it, it wasn't like important sir. More like scumbag go. sir or loser sir. Look, I I've got no idea how that got in there, honest. Well, you can tell all that to the police, son. The police? The police? OK, Bridget, slow down. I can't understand you. OK, well, where is he now? Uh-huh. OK. Look, stay where you are or get Gary. We'll be down in 10 minutes. Hey, guys, have you heard what's happened? About what? The guy's been arrested for shoplifting. What? You're kidding. He's at the police station. Gary and Beck have just gone down there. I, I can't believe it. Well, what did he take? I don't know, some stuff from a surf shop or something. Why would Guy do something so dumb? Oh, are they sure he actually did I it? I guess so, otherwise why would he be at the police station? No, it's so not like Guy, though. I mean, he's not even obsessed with money or anything. Maybe it was spontaneous. He saw something he liked and he couldn't resist it. No, Adam's right. Guy might have his faults, but he's no thief. Then why would the police still have him? They wouldn't charge him unless they were pretty sure. Oh, I just can't believe it. I don't want to believe it. Well, if it is true, then what'll happen to him? Fine, I guess. Ah, oh, it'll be worse than that. How? He's broken his contract. Guy will have to leave Solar Blue. We're not just talking minor shoplifting here. These goods are worth well over 400 bucks. But I didn't take them. Well, according to the witness, you did. There was a witness? Yeah, the shop got a call from someone who saw a guy put the goods in the bag. And you've confirmed that with them? It was an anonymous call. Well, people do that from time to time. They witness a crime and report it, but they don't want to get involved, so they don't reveal who they are. Because they're lying, that's why. Is this enough to count as evidence? Well, in this case, the evidence is the simple fact that the goods were found in the bag and Guy left the store carrying it. Now, it doesn't get much clearer than that. I didn't put them in there. I don't even know how they got in there. So you keep telling me. OK, Sergeant, so what happens now? Well, because of the seriousness of the offence, it'll have to go before a magistrate, probably next Tuesday. Now, I am prepared to let him go home with you, provided you can guarantee his whereabouts and ensure he turns up in court. Now, can you do that for me? Yes, we will. Good. And if you want to come with me, Beck, I've got some paperwork to do, and then you can all go home. Sergeant, can I ask you something? Yeah, sure. What is it? This so-called witness that rang, was it a girl, like someone around my age? Yeah, it was a female, but we have no idea how old she was. Okay. For someone who's about to have a criminal record against his name, yeah, I'm terrific. The magistrate will be lenient, mate. It's only a first offence. But it's not an offence. It can't be because I haven't done anything. Let's just hold the talk till we get home, OK? Well, hang on, you do believe me, don't you? I mean, you do think I'm telling the truth. We want to believe you, Guy, but the truth is we don't know. Well, that's as great, that is. Is that what you think? I want to believe you as well, but... But? But it's just so weird. You know, if you didn't put the stuff in the bag, then who did? And why? And what about the witness in the phone call? Yeah, well, I suppose when you put it like that, it does look pretty bad. Come on, let's get out of here. When the chips are down, I guess the first thing you wonder about is how your friends are going to react. In my case, I didn't have long to wait. Hey, come have a game. It's 3 0 around Robin with Adam and I. Oh, yeah. thanks. I'm just getting a drink. Well, how about some darts, then? About time we gave Charlie a thrashing, hey? Maybe later, guys. Hey, Guy, you want to come to the beach? Yeah, we found some old boogie boards stashed under the house. It'll be fun. Thanks, guys. I'll just sit this one out. Are you sure? Yeah, you guys go. Actually, um, Adam and I will be in for that. Yeah. Haven't been for a boogie board since primary school. You are on. <laughs> come and join us if you change your mind. Will do. 
five minutes, I get more invites than I've had in the past two months. You're just trying to be nice. Oh, come on, Bridget. I can see it in their eyes. See what? The suspicion. They're all desperately trying to act normal towards me, but they can't quite do it. There's still that doubt about whether or not they're living with a thief. It's not true. They're trying to include you to show that they're standing by you. Yeah, it may be a little bit awkward, but don't confuse that with suspicion. It's not fair. You're right, sorry, I guess I'm just being paranoid. We will stand by you guys, all of us. Look, before we go any further, I've got to ask you a question. You're probably not going to like it, but I've got to ask you anyway. What? When I was trying on those T-shirts, you were alone in that part of the shop, right? Yeah, so? So you had the chance to take the stuff and put it in my bag when I was in the change rooms. You think that I did it? Well, I, I don't know what I think, but I do know I need to hear your answer. No, I didn't do it. Oh, okay. Sorry, I, I just had to ask. I guess that I should be offended that you'd even think such a thing, but I'm not. I'm actually kicking myself for suggesting the whole shopping thing in the first place. I'm so sorry. Yeah, well, nice guys always win in the end, don't they? And who knows, maybe something will fall out of the sky to save things. Yeah, this will cheer you up. What do you think? <laughs> Happy days. How do things change so much so quickly? I'll print it out for you. Guy, can I see you for a second? Sure. I'm going to have to call your parents. Yeah, I was hoping we might be able to delay that a bit. As it happens, there's a message on their machine saying they're interstate for a couple of days. There's Dad's mobile. The number of which I happen to have mislaid. You wouldn't have mislaid it too, would you? Actually, now that you mention it, I think I have, yeah. Pity. Still, it gives us a couple of days up our sleeve to hope something comes up. Right. But why would you do that? When this gets out, it won't just be you who's damaged, Guy. Solar Blue's reputation will be trashed too, and the other kids will be guilty by association. I'm sorry, Beck. Don't be. You're innocent, remember? So what can we do? 